Okay, I'm going to set it up. <coughs> so, we see first uh, Karn's dungeon. Um, so, we're going to use Red Mill wheel Fields. And let's see. For a new campaign, shuffle and place all the common creature cards. We have all the common creature cards in the box. <coughs> um, so you have things like the pike, caterpillar, pin back, dragonfly. Gearbook, um, Ember Bark Otter. This is all in the finish, uh, so uh, really good for long, many plays. Uh, Red Mill Owl. Um, all kinds of really cute um, many are unique and they look fantastic um, I hope that uh, it comes across in the on screen Okay. This goes in the bottom under com common creatures. Then here is charm advanced creatures. So we take out the advanced creatures. And look at uh, values are higher. So that's higher to, to, to pay. Higher cost to pay. Not a lot of cards, uh, so the game is uh, geared towards first building up with uh, 
basic cards, I think. to the charm advanced creatures and these decks are the same uh, irrespective of uh, uh, player size um, so what's next uh, per two advanced creature advanced creature lock cards per player place two Advanced creature lock cards per player. Advanced creature lock cards. Looks like a lock. But these don't look like a lock. No. This looks like a lock. One. Super player, but I think, or I don't know if there is a solo play. Uh, so it's either two or four. Summon phase, charm phase, ability technology, hero, adventure phase. And conditions magic. Normally, the uh, game says uh, you and your friends work together. Uh, maybe the box says how many players. So here you have icons, uh, quick reference, summon charm. And sure, knock back all the abilities also on the other side. I'm going to check if the top two to four players. So, yeah, um, effectively, you're playing two players then. And it's a cooperative game, so uh, for the advanced creatures, you need four locks. Um, okay, uh, this was the intro and setup. Okay, so we have two, three, four. Um, you can play with three per and four persons so that's eight advanced creature cards okay um, what do we do here uh, 
Um, place two advanced creature ca lock cards per player on top of the advanced creature deck B. Then place two of the matching lock cards per player on top of each hero upgrade. C. Uh. Matching lock cards. I think these two, three, four are matching lock cards. Or they have some kind of. If you did not battle, you may return a creature th you played this turn to the top of your deck. There are, are two kinds heightened reflexes, one lock. And uh, six. Okay, so here we have them. One, two, three, four. These are the lock, the matching icons. So what's this then? Okay, I think I get it. One, two. Place two of the matching lock cards, matching lock cards per player. But um, are there enough them? Assuming four players. Wait, this is also yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, so you have player one, player two, player three, and player four. Okay. Then we have the number one thing locks. So this is player one, player two, player three, and player four. Okay. And we have the other things for the sixes, two, four, six, and eight. Going to put them back in because I don't need it for multiple players.